the last 10 days or so, but despite that, the weather is still pretty poor. The temperature hasn't risen much, and today it's starting to rain, and you might be able to hear that in the background. Despite the temperature not really going up very high, the greenhouse is getting warm throughout the day and my ceilings are starting to dry right out. I really need to get them outside but I'm determined this year to get as much of my produce from seedling to plate as possible this year. And to do that, I need to put some protection out. This will be my brassica cage. This is where I will grow my sprouts and cabbage for this year. This is a cage that we used down our allotment and once we handed that back, it's been sitting in storage ever since. The cage is made out of some hollow plastic tubes that we bought down at a local DIY store. And the tubes are connected by these different angles and as there's no instructions for this, I was spending a bit of time trying to figure it out. Once I'd figured out the base and the roof, it was time to stick the uprights in. And I needed a hand to get that roof on. It definitely wasn't something I could do on my own. With the frame made, it was time to put on the netting. It's important to choose the right type of netting. The size of the holes can determine whether or not pests can get through and attack whatever it is you're trying to protect, but equally you don't want to be trapping any birds in this. This is netting I've used before and I've never had a problem with pests or accidentally trapping birds. To secure the netting to the frame I'm using tie wraps, so I'll put a few of these around on each side just to keep them in place and I'll use these large pegs to hold the whole structure into the ground. I'll be putting these in at an angle just to give it a little bit extra security and tie in the frame using the tie wraps. cage in place it now gives me a perfect space to grow my sprouts and cabbage. I just want to talk about alternatives to the structure I've just put up. That structure was something my dad built and that was very much a DIY bespoke structure but there are other things that you can buy from the garden centre that should give you a similar effect and similar outcome. Now you can use bamboo which is really easy to get hold of and purchase these extra little bits here which allow you to construct a structure around your vegetables. Now this one comes with multiple different places where you can put your bamboo and you can use these to create a structure around your vegetables or other things you want to protect. The other option is these toppers here which just go on the top of your bamboo and they push up into the netting and that holds it off of your plant and gives you some protection. Ideally you want to try and get the net away from your plant if you can, particularly if you're trying to keep things like butterflies away from your lettuces and your cabbage. Whereas other plants might just be about trying to stop birds so you can throw the netting just over that plant such as raspberries or blueberries. So yeah, so a couple of cheaper options, uh, something that's nice and quick to do and easy to get hold of. The 
final purpose of crop protection I want to talk about today is protection from frost. Frost is something that can really damage tender young plants and protecting them this time of year is still really important, particularly here in the east of England, as we still get frost on a regular basis. And this month has been lower than usual temperatures for this time of year. To protect my lettuce from the frost, I'm using a small polytunnel made out of plastic. Now plastic isn't the greatest thing to be using in the garden these days, but it lasts for quite a long time and I've had this for many years now. I do have other young plants out in the garden as well, which I'm trying to protect, but unfortunately I don't have enough of that polytunnel to use. So I'm using some other tunnels which are designed to try and keep the plants in shade and I'm hoping that that will be enough just to keep that frost away from those young plants. I just want to thank my returning viewers and those who are seeing this for the first time. If you are seeing this for the first time and you like what you're seeing, please like and subscribe. And I really hope that your gardens are doing well at the moment too. I'll see you next time.